Um, but please give them a hand right now. Be six. Artistic. A lot of the time artistic people are misunderstood. They express their emotions through art and performance. They often get called names and get taken on the of. Wannabe. Confused, alone, self-obsessed and self-loathing. Wannabes are often some of the most hated people. Understandably, no one wants their style ripped off by someone else. Maybe they just need help finding out who they are. Girly. The glitzy, glittery click with the signature colour of girlies being pink. People assume that all they think about is hair, nails, buoyant makeup and their calorie intake. Some do, but not all of them. Some girlies think of more important things like their future. Prep. Could it be that these people are the most self-conscious people ever? It seems they all wear the same thing, have the same hairstyle, and even say the same phrases. People often get the wrong idea about them, though, if they are often popular and look unapproachable. Maybe they're just shy. Geek. Every school has people that get called geeks. They are often the people that try hard in school, make sure their homework is in on time, and got along with the teachers. Unfortunately, they are often, often targets for bullying, both physical and mental. You should think twice before you do it, though, because they could be the people that change the world. Emo. This term gets thrown around way too much. Not many people know what it really means. Some people think it means that the person is depressed so they slit their wrists. That's rubbish. Emo stands for emotional hardcore, which just means that they're more in touch with their emotions. It's also a genre of music from the 1980s. What would you do if you saw a gothic person in the street? If he asked you to describe them purely based on their image, chances are you would probably say something like morbid, depressed, dark, or maybe even psycho serial killer. But most of the time, you're wrong. Well, I think everyone put their share in, but um, 
because one of my stereotypes was dance, I think I had to put a bit more effort in for my character to show my stereotypes. Did you find it a good experience? Yeah, I thought it was a really good experience, how everyone got to explore different stereotypes that they wouldn't normally use. Did you find it easy working with all those people? Because I, th I thought it wasn't that hard because um, we all got along, so it was like there wasn't any arguments most of the time.